it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Hey folks, in this video I want to take a look at solving quadratic inequalities. And this is a very important technique because number one, it can come up as a standalone question. But number two, the method used here filters into two other styles of inequality questions. So it's an important technique to grasp. Let's take a look at a question. So we could be asked to solve for x, which is an element of the real number. And we're given the scenario x squared minus 8x minus 20 is less than zero. So clearly we're faced with a quadratic inequality here. And whenever we are, we want to think of the following steps. First, what we want to do is solve the quadratic for critical values. And we'll solve that either by factorizing or using the quadratic formula. Then we want to test an x value between the critical values. This test will either yield true or false. So we're going to pick an x value between our two critical values. So but into the original question and it's either going to work out to be true are false, and that's going to determine our solution. If it's true, the solution lies between the critical values, and if false, the solution lies outside the critical values. And just on a wee side, if the test is true, x is going to be between the two critical values, so we'll be writing it like a compound inequality, with x is less than, and we're going to fill in our two values here. And if the test proves false, we're going to have that x is less than one of the critical values, and x is greater than the other critical value. So it's important to know that for our test. So let's get cracking with the steps. I'm gonna solve this quadratic by factorizing to get my two critical values. So here I have them. My two critical values are x equals 10, and x equals minus two. Next up, I have to test a value between the critical values. So I'm gonna pick any number, any number between 10 and minus two. I'm gonna test x equals zero, okay? And how do I do this test? I sub that x value into the original question. So I'm gonna go x squared, so I'm gonna go zero squared minus eight x, so eight by zero minus 20, and see, is that less than zero? I get here, minus 20 is less than zero. I have to say, is that statement true or false? Is minus 20 less than zero? It is true. And because it's true, I'm gonna copy my true solution. So I'm gonna say that x is between, in a compound inequality, the two critical values. And we're gonna put the criti bigger critical value on the right, so x is less than 10. And then on the bottom, we're gonna have x is greater than minus two. And this is my solution to the quadratic inequality question. X is less than 10 and X is greater than minus two. Let's take a look at a question where the solution works out to be false. Right, I'm gonna fire away with the same steps for this question where X squared plus six X plus eight is greater than zero. Let's find our critical values. So my two critical values are x equals minus four and x equals minus two. Next up, we've got to do the test. So I'm going to pick an x value between minus four and minus two, and I'm going to select x equals minus three, and I'm going to sub that into the original question. I'm going to work out the left-hand side, and I get minus one is greater than zero. And I have to decide here, is that statement true or is it false? Is minus one greater than zero? Well, it's not. The answer is false. So therefore, for my solution, I have to say that x is outside the two critical values. So I'm going to be using that x is less than one and x is greater than one as a solution. So let's set that up. I'm going to have that x is less than a critical value and that x is greater than another critical value. And how do we determine which critical value goes where? x is always less than the smaller critical value, so I'm gonna have minus four. So just note, it's always less than the smaller critical value. And then I'm gonna have that x is greater than minus two, which is the bigger or the larger critical value. And that's worth noting that x is always less than the smaller critical value and x is greater than the bigger critical value. And there we have it. This wee box is our solution to that inequality. So once more, it is vital to know your two solution sets here. You're either going to have that x is between two critical values 
or you're gonna have that x is outside your two critical values. For the between the two values, we're always gonna have it set up with our two inequality signs facing the less than in the compound way. And when the solution set is false, we get that x is less than one critical value and greater than the other.